A couple of days ago, I uploaded a video where I opened 184 by 10s. You can watch that with the annotation up there. And it was a fantastic video. We packed a couple of 99s and a whole bunch of other really cool cards. And so I thought, today let's open 50 85 by 10s These aren't infinitely repeatable, which is why I haven't got 100. They're also far more expensive. It's an 86-rated squad with a team of the season or a team of the week versus an 84-rated squad with a team of the season or a team of the week. But we've got 50 of them. What I'm also not going to do with this 50 is I'm not going to track every card that we get with regards to the tracker. Wow, what a start that is. Patrick Vieira. Um, and the reason why I'm not going to track every card is because with 184 by 10s I only packed about 160 of the 248 available players. What I thought we'd track today is how many of the 25 98 and higher rated cards we can get. And I tell you what, for an 85 by 10 that is a cracking start, isn't it? Balak and Vieira whoa, in there. Four icons in total. And of course, if you guys are enjoying the content... It would be awesome if you left a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if there's any other pack experiments you'd love to see me do before FC25 is here, just let me know in the comments down below and I will endeavor to grind the game for you and show you some fun packs. So pack number two still doesn't have a 98 plus for us. And again, we're going to be a little bit wasteful with the content that we actually get from these packs and that is because it is the end of the game and isn't it interesting for me this year guys the end of the game has come so much sooner but it feels like what icon have we got here Ooh, Vidic could have a 99 here though could be a is it Messi that 99 yeah 99 Messi has got this trim who is that Minda wow we've got available 99 Ronaldo and Kerr they're both footies 99 Frimpong and Hansen they're both footies 99 Putelas and Neymar they're both footies 99 Pele is an icon. The only other 99 that we could get is Messi, and he's the um, Path to Glory themed card. We've then got 98 Dembele, Rolfo, and Smith that are footies. We get 97 Valverde there. We're hitting those quite easily. Um, we've also got 98 Dalglish, Cruyff, Zidane, Ronaldinho, Ronaldo, Jairzinho, Best, and Ferdinand that are all icons as we get our first footies icon there by the way of Baresi. And then we also have available Mbappe, Bellingham, Musiala, Hernandez, De Bruyne, who are all 98s. Uh, they are the um, European 98s rather than Messi's 99. And then there's also Lataro Martinez as a 98 rated that will be the same card design as Lionel Messi. So... Yeah, I just feel like, you know, we've got a leaked database from FC25. Um, it, you know, uh, it's foot scoreboard and a few of the other leakers have, have somehow got the leaked database, which is, for me personally, a little bit unusual. Here we go. Footy's card. We've got a German centre mid. It's going to be Balak centre mid. That's fine. Give us a big 99. Give us uh, Hansen. I don't think this is a premium footage. I can't tell the difference. I've never figured it out. Who is that? Ledley King. Man, he looks chunky, doesn't he? He looks chunky. Um, hey, not bad, though. We didn't have him. Yeah, usually EA don't release the ratings like early, but these guys have got playstyle pluses, playstyles, in-game stats, skill moves, and weak foot. Like, they've got everything. And we're still, like, 24 days or 23 days away from the game as we get ourselves a 96 Jan or Black there. Which actually isn't that long, if you think about it. But I'm not used to... It, it's usually... It feels like, anyway, it feels like it's usually the final like 10 to 14 days when all the information starts coming out. But being like three and a half weeks early is very early. And uh, I was saying this in, in another video, and, and I was saying it to uh, Editor Josh. I don't think I'm ready for FC25 yet. I'm ready to play FC25. Right, I'm ready to sit there. I, I'm I'm really excited for Rush. I'm really excited for the new evolution system because it makes me that's a nice pickup for Ramirez there because it makes me happy about the Arsenal Evo RTG. You know, we did an Arsenal Evo RTG this year, and after the first sort of like three or four weeks, it became massively difficult. What version of uh, what version of him have we got this time? 
91 again. Could be Messi, could be Lautaro Martinez. This Oh, this is the image, the design that we need, not the blue one. Oh, this actually could be Messi. It's not. Oh, is that Vinicius Jr., though? I know he's not 98 rated, but that's not bad. How much is he worth? Damn, he's mad cheap. Obviously, everyone's mad cheap. You've got infinite packs. Um... Yeah, I'm ready to play the game. I'm, I'm really like, you know, I really, I like, I got, I got lost on the Arsenal RTG this year because it became increasingly difficult to Evo the Arsenal players. But I've learned from it. I want to do the Arsenal RTG a bit different next year, and that difference will be starting with the Arsenal base gold cards. But the the sole purpose, the sole premise of the whole RTG will be constantly having the best Arsenal players, and then also Evoing up the Arsenal players. So, ooh, two, three ninety fives in there. Love that. So, yeah, but basically, like, if, you know, if Odegaard gets a team of the week, I will, like, the focus of the whole series will then to be get that Odegaard team of the week. If we get, like, an SBC or a special promo card in packs, the focus will be either to pack the card, and if I can't pack the card whilst it's in packs, it'll be to buy the card um, straight after he's out of packs. And that, that'll be, like, the, the main focus will just be keeping up with all of the Arsenal current players and all of the Arsenal X icons. I won't be doing Arsenal past and present, just current and icons. Um, so I'm looking forward to playing FC24. Sorry, no. FC25. Yes. I'm very much looking forward to playing FC25 because I, I actually enjoyed greatly certain aspects of playing this game this year. That could be Frimpong, right? Oh, come on! I saw a Dutch right wing back and I thought there's not many of them. I don't know if his 97 is in packs as well. Let's have a look. Um, it doesn't appear to be. So we have hit our first 99 rated. It is Jeremy Frimpong. Well, actually, from the packs, from the 84 by 10s that we opened on this account as well, we also got uh, Putelas. Was it Putelas? No, it was Pele and Ronaldo. Um, but now we've got 99 Frimpong. He is still over 800,000 coins, which is genuinely mind-blowing for a defender. Oh, it's just such a good card, though, isn't it? It's such a good card. Um, what great success that was. What great success. Love that. So, yeah, um, I lost my train of thought. But, oh, and being ready and not being ready. But in terms of actually making content and the grind that comes with making content at the start of the game cycle. Oh, my days. 97 Cantona. These 85 by 10s are absolutely cracked. It's so weird because the 84 by 10s just weren't nearly as good as these. And it's only one rating difference on the low scale. There's no rating difference on the high scale. So it's really peculiar that we're getting a significant number of higher 97s and such and above. Even though it's only the low end that's the problem. I guess I'm going to have to restart the game. All right, we're back. That is a fantastic pack. Two 96s, a 95 and a 97. Um, but yeah, because I'm like... I, gr I, I, I run this game into the ground. I've played this game so much this year. I've made lots of content on this game this year. More content this year than ever before. I've played the game more than ever before. I'm not ready for it to just turn over into FC25. I need that break, right? Um, and so when FC25 news and information is getting leaked, and, you, you know, for those of you that have, like, done content creation or have just been around the scene for a while or whatever... It's a rat race. When that information comes out, if you're not first, you're last, man. Like, you've either got to be on it sharpish, or you just miss out on the views. You don't get into the YouTube algorithm. You don't get into the homepage. You don't get into the recommended searches. I'm not ready for that turnover. I need a break. I, and so I'm sitting here looking at it, and it's like, on the one hand, I'm like, <clears throat> it's nice that we're only three weeks away from the new game because I'm looking forward to it. But we're only three weeks away from the new game. Like, being here which means we've got a few weeks of the kind of like hustle and bustle of the wow look at that for a pack 97 socrates um yeah we're only we're only like a week or less away from fc25 you know when it comes to like web app when it comes to player ratings release when it comes to maybe a deep dive on other certain things that we constantly get papa i'm not ready for that yet I'm not ready for that. And I don't need a big break. I'm a little bit burnt out from this game because of how much content I've made and how much I've played this game. I don't need like a, a massive break. Just like three days. Three to five days. But because that information is already coming out, it's, got, it's like panic stations. I'm like, oh my days. Oh my days. I already need to be like 
constantly monitoring socials for when anything comes through. And it's it's actually quite unhealthy, I suppose, isn't it? Obviously, I've, I've you know, completely appreciate and understand I'm very privileged to do what I do. I know people would trade places with me in a heartbeat from a lot of different uh, lot of different walks of life, but just I need to take that couple of days. And so uh, I don't know how I got here. FC twenty five. What was we doing for it? I, I can't remember. I can't remember how I got on the topic of conversation, but there it is. There, there's my woes for today, guys. What we are going to try and do today is oh ninety seven eleven Doski. That's the first time I've actually seen him come out of one of these packs. I didn't even realize he was in the packs. I wonder how much he is. I bet he's very cheap. Twenty seven and a half thousand coins. How mad is that? All right, another ninety six. Two more ninety sixes in there. One ninety nine already. Out of 50, 85 by 10s. We are halfway through now. We have 199. If you would have asked me to guess how many 99s we would get from 50, my answer would be somewhere between 0 and 1. So we're probably already like on course or maybe even head to a degree for getting 1. However, there are 25 98 to 99 rated cards. If you would have asked me how many 98 to 99 rated cards do I think I would get, the answer would probably be from 50, 85 by 10s. 5 to 7? This could be a good card. So it's actually quite mad. That's a Ramirez, is it? It's actually quite mad that we've managed to hit a 99. And there is our first 98. I was going to say before we've got anywhere near a 98, but we have now got... Jamal Musiala. He is 98 number one from the 25 players that we're trying to collect here. And of course, I already have him in the club, but he's still there. And we've also got 99 Jeremy Frimpong. So two Bundesliga players, which is quite interesting. But it would be nice, EA Sports. Give us more. Striker, go on, be messy. No, it's a it's a it's a hero. It's 95 Milito. And then it's probably Goretzka, right? Yeah, and of course, he has got a 97 rated card as well. But whenever you see team of the season now, it's just no bueno. Like the highest rated team of the season is a 97s that are in packs anyway. Wait, is that a 99? No, no, you've done me, haven't you? No, you haven't. You haven't really because Hansen's a completely different nation. But still, I saw right wing and saw that flag and I thought... I thought, but it wasn't there. It wasn't to be, guys. It wasn't to be. Can we get a second 99? This is pack number 30. We've got a great set of the game icon. It is going to be Stoichkov 94. Uh, he has got his 96 impacts as well. We have packed it, in fact. We also get Cannavaro, Munoz, Lola Galado, Joao Pedro. Um, yeah, there's, there was no point tracking like the low-rated cards for this one. We obviously tracked a whole bunch of the stuff that we got before. Here we go. Footies. Wait. 97 Schmeichel. I thought he was actually going to get something good that time. This this could still be a 99, though. Isn't it funny, though? Every time we've got a 99, they've been the face card. So I almost know that this isn't a 99. It's Gavi 97 with Schmeichel 97. Because when we hit Ronaldo 99 in that other video... Wow, look at that for a pack. Two 97s and a 96. He was the face card. When we hit Pele 99... I can't remember if he was the face card, but I think he was. And when we just hit Frimpong 99 earlier, he was the face card. Oh, wow. 97, David Alaba. So we kind of already know when we open the pack if we're getting a 99 or not. Because if EA have coded it for whatever reason that the 99 shows up first, I don't mind that, to be fair. I actually think it's probably better. I think I'd much rather know. I'd, I'd much rather see the 99 as the face card and then the next card revolve around it opposed to seeing like a 95 and then the 99 turns around. I think it's like a little bit less engaging, at least for me personally anyway. Um, but yeah, let's pack another one. We've still got Messi, Utelas, Kerr. Now, I'm surprised we haven't packed um, Kerr more because she's only 190,000 coins for a 99 rated card. So that's obviously extremely cheap. And in terms of the 98s, you know, Rolfo is reasonably cheap at 200,000 coins. Best is incredibly cheap at 109,000 coins. Smith is only 118,000 coins. Jairzinho is 345. Martinez is only 57,000 coins. 
you know, Jamal Muziala, who we did pack, was only 64,000 coins. And you know the way that like, pack weight works with EA and like the, the packs work. Like if a card's cheap, doesn't matter what the rating is, it will just come out commonly because it's cheap. But I'm very surprised specifically that we haven't hit Martinez, George Best, Rolfo Smith. We've got Sesco here, though. We've also got a great of the game and, and uh, her as well. Oh, wow. 98 Zinedine Zidane. That is our second 98 rated card. Even Dalgleish is only 60k. What a card this is, by the way, guys. Like, I know like it's meaningless now towards this end of the game cycle. And and he's only got three playstyle pluses because chip shot plus literally doesn't count. But those stats, man, perfect passing, perfect dribbling, good physical, good pace, very good shooting, and decent defending as well. Um, for a cam. Zinedine Zidane, delightful to use in the game this year. You know, what was it? Was it his 92 that had an SBC? Or his 94 that had an SBC? It was just so good. Here we go with the footies card. Colombia, centre-back. It's going to be the hero. Which again makes me think that the footies card is not going to be a 99 rated. I'm wrong. I'm just wrong. They're not putting 99s as the face card. There must just be certain card designs that come out first. We have here a second 99, and it is 99 Hansen. She's 740,000 coins on the market. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Two 99s and two 98s from these packs so far. Oh, I should have looked at her stats. Her stats are absolutely wild. Um, we'll pack her again. Don't worry. We've still got 13 more to go. But that is, that is brilliant. What a pickup, man. On, on this account specifically anyway, including the ones from yesterday, what do we got here? Ooh, another 98. Teo Hernandez this time. On this account specifically, we've hit Ronaldo, Frimpong, Hansen, Pele. I swear I hit Patelas. I can't remember. 98 Hernandez. What's he worth? Oh, still like 400k. That's a massive pickup. I mean, geez, guys, fair play. These packs have been a lot better than I thought. Like, as I say, like the 84 by 10s were decent. We opened 100 of them and we hit a couple of 99s, which is great. Can't be Son, can it? It's Park because Son's not in packs. Um, yeah, which which was great. I didn't realize the overall volume of high rated cards in 85 by 10s was so significantly greater. That's going to be a footies icon, isn't it? No, it's a great of the game. It was so significantly greater. Uh, sorry, it's a Golasso icon than the 84 by 10s. I appreciate it. You know, you're eradicating a whole bunch of 84s, but nothing else is going from like the 85s and above. So it's just mad. It's going to be a 90. Oh, I was, I was going to say it's going to be Bruno Fernandes, but it's not. It's going to be Ru Costa and a team of the season that nobody cares about. Who is it? It was Loco team of the season. That was a pretty stinky pack, to be fair. So we've still got a few more to go. Nine more of these 85 by 10s. That's a great of the games icon. Or it's just an icon and another Golasso icon. Ah, oh, it's, a, it's a Future Stars icon. Exactly like Smith or something, isn't it? Gerard, yeah. What a stinky pack that was. But... We've massively out... Well, massively outperformed my expectations of 99s. We've hit two when I was expecting zero or one. But we've currently underperformed with my expectation of 98 pluses. We have got five. And I thought we'd... Well, actually, I suppose I said like five to seven, didn't I? So we're actually pretty much bang on with what I genuinely thought we would hit as, as a group of players. What I'm looking forward to is when EA make the 85 by 10s infinitely repeatable. I'm hoping it's going to be next Monday, uh, because once the 85 by 10s are infinitely repeatable, first of all, we'll build 100 of them, which would be great. Um, but second of all, we'll try and pack like every 98 and 99. We'll, we'll spend maybe like, I don't know, three hours or five hours just grinding through the packs. We've got a great set of the game icon here that we unfortunately don't care about. Oh, I suppose it could be a 98. There is the, the In terms of great set of the games that we could get, that would still be good for us. There's Ronaldo, Ronaldinho, Cruyff, and Dalglish. Now, I do already have Cruyff on this account. Um, Ireland 94, is that? Oh, no. Oh, Solskjaer, is it? Yeah, Solskjaer and a team of the season in behind. Um, but, yeah, we've got from these packs 
Didan Hernandez Musiala. Hansen and Pele. No, not Hansen and Pele. French striker. Icon. Henri. Love that. Rimpong and Hansen. And then Vincent Company and Thierry Henri. Even just build just from these packs, we have built what could be an absolutely phenomenal 11. And that's why I think this game's over. You know, like going back to what I was talking about before, this game's just done, isn't it? This game, like the, the only thing that's worth playing for on this game right now is the SE25 packs. Otherwise, I don't think this game's worth touching whatsoever. We are getting from our penultimate pack a Smith, a Mapellion, a Dybala. So, 398s, 299s. If I remember correctly, it was the final pack last time that we got. Oh, yeah, we did get Patelas, didn't we? Did I get three? I'm pretty sure we did. And it was on the last pack. What can we get from the last pack this time? It's the team of the season. Turkish. Left back. Is it Kadioglu? It sure is. Is it going to yield something nicer in there? Come on, EA. It's another team of the season behind it, isn't it? That Cole Palmer. Yeah, 94 Palmer and Kadioglu in there. That is a stinky pack to end things off with. But, guys... That is the end of 50 85 by 10s. If you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you next time. But for now, I'm out. Peace.